What's up YouTube, Cody Slice here, back at you with another video. Today we're gonna be doing a quick little comparison um, between the Scuf Instinct Pro and the Xbox Elite Series 2. Uh, both of these are great controllers, I wanna say that for the most part. Um, I've used this one for a couple of years and it's been a great controller. I'm currently using this one right now just because um, one of my paddles on the Xbox uh, after a couple years did go bad on me, so, um, but uh, we're going to get right into the video, guys. I'm going to let you know my thoughts on both the pros and cons of each. And the first thing I want to talk about uh, in this video is going to be the price. So uh, I'm going to move you over to my computer right here. And uh, I'll let you know which one's a better price. So uh, the Xbox Elite uh, Wireless Controller Series 2 is actually on sale right now for $154. So that is that is a great deal for what you get uh, for that controller. Definitely the Xbox controller is going to be the better priced controller um so yeah you can find this one too this is the the white and black one the elite series 2 this is a new one i don't think it comes with everything in the box though like it, i think you're going to be missing the carrying case i believe um so anyway yeah the price on the uh elite series 2 is going to be right around 154.99 that's on sale normally it's 179.99 uh and then you have that white and black option for 124.99 which does have the back paddles and i believe it still has the adjustable tensioners on the joystick so and then the scuff is a little bit more pricey this one is 229 dollars at best buy on scuff's website it's going to be right around 200 dollars and or 230 dollars as well so so overall, yeah, the Xbox can, uh, Elite Series 2 is going to be a little bit better priced. So uh, without further ado, guys, let's unbox these. So I've already opened these before. I actually have a video on unboxing this uh, when I first got it. So but I just kind of want to show you guys what comes with uh, each controller. So with the Elite Series 2, like I said, this one to me is overall the better deal because you get this carrying case and you get the controller obviously um and in this you get you do get a cable uh usb a to c to charge the controller or you could also plug that controller in to the back of this um or i'm sorry to the bottom of this and use this kind of like a wireless charger so this just sets on top like that and you can charge it so oops it gotta be like that yep just like that it's magnetic so that's pretty cool So yeah, you get the controller and you get um, a couple different analog sticks, um, you know, your D-pad, um, another D-pad option here. So yeah, you get that with the Elite Series 2 and like I said, it also comes with a cable and it also comes, like I said, with that tensioner to tension um, the joystick. So if you take this off right here. And this is one of the pros that I like about this controller is there's actually a little tool where you can change the tension of your joysticks. And these are very easy to put uh, on and off. As you can see, they're just magnetic. So it's another pro of the Xbox Elite Series 2. Is the joystick options you have with this controller are just way better than the scuff in my opinion from what you get right out of the box. Let me move this camera. So. All right guys, so I found my little tensioner. Uh, this is very easy to lose, so just make sure to keep it in your case. But yeah, you could stick this in here. And uh, like I said, you could change the tension. How, this just helps with aim, so you could change the tension. So it could be really easy to move, or it could be harder to move, which helps with first person shooter games like Call of Duty or whatever. Um, so yeah, that's gonna be the pros of this controller, that it has a better charging system. Um, it feels higher quality too, like the grips are nicer on this, the joysticks are nicer, um, and like I said, the bat this has an internal battery so you can charge it, it doesn't take batteries. And obviously you have your paddles on the back, you have four remappable paddles, and it's very easy to sync, like you can change whatever button you want um, to make on your paddles. Um, it does have the trigger stops too, so you can make it like a regular controller, or you can you know, have a stopper, which that's really nice. Um, it's one of the cons about this controller too, though, is because the scuff has a lot better back uh, triggers 
in my opinion, and paddles. So, but um, those are going to be the pros of this controller, the anal adjustable analog, um, the charging system. Like I said, it has that little thing where you can just charge it. It doesn't take batteries. You can just plug it, leave it plugged in if you want. That's what I do. Um, but yeah, and it comes with this carrying case, all for 180 bucks. So definitely the better deal too, price-wise. So that's going to be that controller. Now moving on to the scuff. The scuff is, um, like I said, $229. Um, the pros about this controller um, is it, the buttons. The buttons feel absolutely amazing. The paddles, I should say. The paddles are like mouse click. So those feel amazing and your trigger stops. If you put it on full like I have, it's also mouse click. That's what I really like about this controller. Now this one does take two double A's um, or you could just keep it plugged in. It does come with a USB uh, C, uh, A to C cord. So what you get in the box with this is you get a couple of different uh, joysticks you can change out. I didn't really like these ones. I like the standard one that already came on it because those ones are kind of have that concave and these do not these are more like dome shaped so i like this one better um in the cord, yeah you get the cord obviously so doesn't much, nothing much comes in the box just the controller and the cord and you're just pretty much ready to game on this one um like i said i do like the paddles better on this and the triggers um I like the recharging system better on the Xbox Elite Series 2, but you could also just plug either one of them in straight to your Xbox. Um, I do like the fact that the scuff has a mute button right here. So if you're, you know, Twitch streaming or whatever, um, it's really easy to just mute your mic. So that's a huge plus on the scuff as well. So um, it also has a removable faceplate on the scuff. If you're into changing your design of your controller, um, then yeah, you could do that pretty easy with the scuff. It's more of a customizable controller. Um, but I will say Xbox is doing a much better job at customizing their controllers now that um, I think they have a website called Xbox Labs. You go on to uh, and you could actually like design a custom uh, Elite Series 2 controller, which is absolutely incredible. So, But uh, anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you guys are new here, make sure to drop a like, drop a sub if you guys enjoyed the video. Really appreciate you guys watching and I hope this helped. Have a good one.